Hi, I'm William Curley. Uh, today I'm going to make a rosemary and olive oil truffle. We have some fresh whipping cream. We have, we have Amadee's 65 and 60% Toscana chocolate, one of my favourite chocolates. We have some rosemary that was picked this morning, some unsalted butter and some wonderful olive oil. I'm now going to put the pan on to boil. So we now have the boiled whipping cream and we're going to add some of the, the fresh rosemary and just pull away the rosemary from the stem. You never want to add the stem to the cream because it brings out bitterness within the, the rosemary. Okay, so we've now melted the chocolate to approximately 45 degrees Celsius and our cream has now been infusing for around 30 minutes. So we just take the cling film off. Give it a little mix round and then we add about half the cream to the chocolate and we start to mix. Now traditionally most people would boil the, the cream and they would pour it over the chocolate and mix together. In my opinion I would never add boiling liquid to chocolate it potentially scalds the chocolate and has a little bit of an impact on the flavour. Melt the cream, melt the chocolate and then blend together. And then we add the butter. Okay, all the butter is now incorporated. So we're now going to gradually add the olive oil. Again, just mixing to ensure the ganache is fully emulsified. Hand blender and just give a little burst. Okay, so the ganache is now fully emulsified. We're going to put that uh, in a cool area within the kitchen and allow the uh, ganache to set up. Then once it's set up, we're going to pipe some small chocolate bulbs. So very carefully, we just pipe Okay, so we've melted our curvature chocolate to around about 48 degrees Celsius. Anywhere between 45 and 50 degrees is ideal. We then pour out approximately, I guess, half of the chocolate onto the marble slab we have. So we're now going to cool the chocolate down on our marble slab. And as it cools, you'll see that the chocolate thickens. Basically when you buy your chocolate it comes in a pre-tempered state and really tempered chocolate I guess is a suspension of the cocoa mass, the cocoa butter and the sugar. When we melt the chocolate say over 35 degrees Celsius this breaks that suspension and the only way to reform it is by re-tempering the chocolate. Now what we're trying to achieve here is to cool the main mass down to around about 28 degrees Celsius. Okay, as you can see the chocolate's now starting to thicken up and we're then going to carefully scrape it back up. So we take the, the tank and we just give it another good mix. And just in case there's any little lumps in the chocolate, we put the old hand blender back in again. Give it a mix for a few seconds. Okay, so the chocolate is obviously wonderfully tempered. The ganache is now firm. And we just drop the bulbs of ganache into the tempered couverture and then plump it into the cocoa powder and one of my colleagues Eichi all the way from Japan is assisting me doing this. Truffles have now set so we're going to pop them into the sieve and we're going to dust off the excess cocoa powder and once they've set okay so here we have the finished article our rosemary and olive oil truffle. Enjoy. Nice.